Bonjour, is me. My name is Freya, and I'm free. <laughs> I am no longer bound to only working on the CCSF, and so I decided to take a break from all of that and play creatures. <laughs> I'm also here with Kyoji of the Cloud System. Say hi. Hi. All right. So what we're gonna do here? Oh, you should come closer than that. No, no, no. I mean, like, sit in front of your laptop. I told you I'd be doing stuff while you did this. <sighs> you agreed to that. But you want you want to see these you little messed up babies I, we're gonna make. You said I could do it. I have my own things I gotta do. <sighs> anyway, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hatch a male nano norn, laying the egg right now, and then we're going to hatch a bunch of females of different breeds, and then we're going to observe the progeny. So. Pick some breeds. Um, Norns or mm -hmm. Astro, Zebra, Tree Hugger. You got it. Any more? Uh, we can just start with that. Mm -hmm. I don't have Zebra. You don't have that? Not at the download moment. It. Right now? Yes, download it. Ugh, I'm so tired of downloading things. Okay, download it. <sighs> you are downloading Zebra Norns right hold now. On, hold on, I gotta, I gotta name the Nano Norn. He's so tiny. Oh my god, oh my god, wait, wait, Protective Tub gave him the first name Heavy. Okay, he can keep it, he can keep it. He can just be Heavy, like TF2 Heavy. Yeah. Do you see how small he is? Oh my gosh! That is a Nano Nord. Me goo, he that said. Voice? Okay, what do we name female tree hugger Norn? Protective Tub assigned acidic wine. You like that? Okay. So, uh, give me one more Norn breed. Zebra. Give me one other Norn breed. Zebra. What do we name the female Astro Norn protective tub assigned mouthwatering tulip? Tulip. Just tulip? Yeah. Not mouthwatering. <laughs> I don't like that. We could do Harlequin. We could do Magma. No. I like Magma. I do too, but no. I'm gonna do... Why'd you ask? Dream. <gasps> oh, okay. I knew that one would pacify you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna age them all up to adult. I'm plonking them in the Norn Terrarium. As you can see, I've downloaded a whole host of add-ons. Some of these are from the festival, honestly. But I've even populated the jungle with some toxic plants and the chili peppers. And yeah, this is just gonna be a fun time. I'm playing creatures for fun. <laughs> for fun. The Dream Norn got the default name Sweet and Sour Pineapple. Pineapple. Keep? Yeah. Okay. Sweet and Sour Pineapple. I'm going to age everybody up. Heavy is still quite the petite young thing. And yeah, we're just going to observe the chaos that ensues when you cross Nano Norns with their regular sized counterparts. I'm kinda scared to see like I'm thinking like a T Rex Norn. Oh, it's or, so like, much worse. Little arms. I promise you it's worse than what you're imagining. I want a little head on a really big body. I promise you, it's worse than what you're imagining. Because what you're imagining is like when you cross, I think, cave norns with regular norns. Crossing with nano norns is something altogether different. Because they're just that small. I'm going to add magic words, love and war. What? The war scares me. It gives me flashbacks. I'm not, to I'm not giving them war time. You're giving them love? Yeah, I just want them to breed. Come on, Heavy. I was just talking about Scott TF2. Love time. Oh no, I think I think he's so low to the ground the females can't reach him. It's up to you, little man. Oh, he's carrying an apple. Release that apple. I don't know why they're not going for it. It's because he's so slow. He's not slow, he's just tiny. He's slow with them little legs. <sighs> Am I actually gonna have to start splicing? Just give him time. 
I'll get the inseminator. Get Zebra Noise while you're at it. I don't know where the download is. It's probably on Imfu. Yeah, they can tell. Oh, wait, no, we have a pregnancy. Okay, never mind. Fal false alarm. Tulip is pregnant. Let me double check and make sure the non binary patch isn't interfering. Oh, the non binary patch is interfering. The other parent is sweet and sour pineapple. Heck. I forgot to download the um, non female patch because I. I, I like the female-female breeding. I will hatch this egg, because why not? But, as for these lovely ladies, they each get an egg from Heavy. <laughs> what? I can't stop thinking about Heavy TF2. Yeah, that's the point now. <laughs> Okay, the child was a female. Oh, but she's a slider. Oh, oh wait, I forgot the Dream Norns produce a lot of sliders. All right, I must do what needs done. Farewell. Yeah, the Dream Norns, uh, something about Aminora's genome files, a lot of their children are sliders. So if you have the Dream Norns just like on file, if you use Seru, you get a lot of sliders because of that. I'm gonna hatch this egg. And you will see the first nano astro hybrid of this world. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll age it right up so that you can see it at full size too. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a boy! Alright, he should be aging up soon. And Sweet and Sour laid her egg. This might be another slider because, well, Dream Norns. Woody Malachite. That's that's the name he got. And if if you'll kindly observe, Stompers. He got them Stompers. He boot too big where he got dang he. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, non-binary. And a slider. And does not even look like a living being. Well, I mean, like, I'm gonna have to euthanize it anyway. I will be moving sweet and sour pineapple to the meso, where she cannot breed with anyone and cause more sliders, because that's just sad. I'll give her a companion cube so she doesn't get lonely. Look at Woody Malachite. It looks like he doesn't even have a head. Where is he? Right there, I'm holding him. Oh! Stompers. You're just obsessing over his legs. Stompers. Stompers. We have Acidic Wine's egg. I'll inseminate the two females once more. And then we can export them and deal with the second generation. Hey, no, 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 I'll let them go three times total. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's a Nano Norn with a regular sized tail! Let me see the tail. <gasps> oh! Earthy brown! I like them. All right, I'm gonna hatch a true warm blood Etten just to war uh just to roam the ship. All right, name the Etten. The Etten? Mm -hmm. mm, mm. Balloon. Balloon. She got the name Creamy Umber. <laughs> balloon. Balloon. A good balloon. Tulip has laid another egg. So has acidic wine. Oh, no arms, McGee. Tasteless mantis. Uh, inseminating tulip and acidic wine once more. Come on, heavy. <gasps> Oh, 
Oh, she's just a head and a tail. She's poor Morgan. Mashed calamansi. She's just a head and a tail. Oh, nature is cruel. Tulip has laid her egg. Oh, we have a non-binary creature. <gasps> Just legs. Only legs they are. Sour orchid. They are just a pair of legs. Aging them up so you can appreciate the legs. <laughs> what? Are you appreciating the legs? They fell! That's okay. <laughs> They're just a pair of legs. <laughs> ah! I'll age up those who need aging too. No Arms McGee. Actually, no, I'll actually rename him No Arms McGee. No, I don't have space. I have to re inject Advanced Protective Tub. No Arms McGee. What about Earthy Brown? Earthy Brown needs to be aged up. Is that everyone? Oh, Meshed Calamansi. I didn't see you there, because you're just a head with a tail. That is a big head. Honey. Yes, honey, I like the baby. <laughs> Acidic Wine has laid her egg. Tulip. Hmm? She Oh! oh. Achu. Achu. <gasps> oh, ho, ho. only limbs. I'm gonna name you Limbly. Okay, look at Mashed Calamansi now that she's like grown. Mm -hmm. The head with the tail. Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like a. I know that's just the Look at hair, Earthy but, Brown's like, tail waggling. The norns, but it looks like she just has a head of lettuce on her head. <laughs> yeah. Earthy Brown's tail just waggles as he walks. Oh, Limbly has a color mutation! Mm. That's fantastic. Alright. We'll be exporting heavy too. Balloon is just vibing. She said, who da? Who da? What are you doing? Rest. Oh, it feels good to play creatures for fun. Look at this nonsense. All right, let's observe kindly our second generation contenders. We have the non-binary icon with legs for days and nothing else. Stompers. Sour Orchid. We have Limbly with a fabulous color mutation and both sets of limbs, and nothing else. We have mashed calamansi, a head with a tail, and nothing else. We have No Arms McGee, whose name says it all. We've got Earthy Brown, just a little tail that walks around. And Woody Malachite, who is very much like No Arms McGee, but with no head. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is wonderful. Oh, the chaos. Uh, I should, I should probably stop before I like go absolutely mad. I'm like impressed that we got a color mutation in the second generation. Like, that never happens. I... Fortune has favored us tonight. <laughs> On that delightful note, I'm gonna call it here. If you guys want to see more of this particular world, I won't delete it just yet. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see these guys again. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!